back when it was built, I mean, it was for just Kingsport City. At one time, we did house city and county animals, which was a real struggle. But, um, you know, right now we're back with the city, but I mean, it's, it's always at capacity. We're always at capacity. The thing is, once this shelter is built, the new shelter is going to need fundraising to operate. So that's going to be, you know, a task. After it's up and running, we're still going to have to have somebody do fundraising just to get the operations part of it. So. And that's something we don't have. It is going to take more money, so you know that's that's going to be a little bit of an obstacle, probably. You know, trying to get more money for operations, so because this year has been extremely tight. So I mean, it would be better if it was more stable funding coming in, because then you know pretty much what you're going to have, and you know, fundraising, you never know what you're going to get. So I mean, you can put down this much in your budget, but that doesn't mean you're going to get that much. I had a little bit of money up front from the city and a couple more, you know, individuals, so that's helped us a lot. But. I mean, we're getting into the big bucks now. So I'm getting ready to kick off our fundraising for the public to be able to help, you know. Um, I mean, any amount that they want to give, you know, that means they're a part of this new shelter too.